लाइफ इज द रेस अगर तुम नहीं भागोगे तो कोई तुम्हें रौंद कर आगे निकल जाएगा वेल गाइज वी नो दैट लाइफ इज डेफिनेटली काइंड ऑफ अ रेस बट येस इच वन ऑफ अस आर यूनिक एंड डिफरेंट एंड इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट वी ऑल रन विद द सेम पेस टू रीच द एंड डेस्टिनेशन राइट सो हाई गाइज टूडे आई हैव ब्रॉड फॉर यू गाइज अ वेरी मजेदार सा वीडियो वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल और शो यू ऑल विच टाइप ऑफ रेफरेंस बुक्स और एक्स्ट्रा बुक्स और any book that you need to follow to ace your class 10 board exams but three idiots way all right so let us take the examples of some of the characters of three idiots movie and let's understand that which type of reference book should you follow depending upon your requirement and your goal all right let's get started now starting with our very first and most important book that is ncert Now we know that NCERT is our Bhagavad Gita, our Quran, or our Bible. Without NCERT, we are nothing. So let us imagine NCERT to be chatur, the silencer. Okay. So let us imagine NCERT to be like chatur. Now we all know chatur gets very good marks in his exams. He knows all the concepts, and he is able to answer most of the questions. Right? Thank you. Thank you. But was he the topper? Mm-hmm. Somebody else was the topper, and Chatur was very sad at that time, right? So basically, NCERT is a book that if you follow it, you are going to very well understand all the concepts. You are going to very well be able to solve all the questions, but not all the questions, most of the questions, right? So NCERT is good to start with. and uh, it is good to form your basics but not sufficient to reach the ultimate goal now next let's take example of farhan nitrate <laughs> well none none other than our farhan qureshi now who is this farhan qureshi well you all remember him from many famous scenes well consider farhan to be our rs agrawal book how come Now, what is the difference between R. D. Sharma and R. S. Agrawal? A major doubt that all the students have. So, let us imagine that R. S. Agrawal is Farhan and R. D. Sharma is Raju Rastogi. Okay. So, if you have seen the movie, you might as well remember that the ultimate aim of Farhan was to become a photographer, not an engineer. But the ultimate aim of Raju. was to become engineer in the field he was pursuing in the field he was doing btech in right so let us consider them as rs agrawal and rd sharma so if you are like farhan whose ultimate aim is not engineering is not uh, something into the field of mathematics then you can follow rs agrawal you will be able to score good marks with the help of rs agrawal because it has basically good questions but less amount of questions okay now let's take example of raju rastogi now raju wants to pursue his career as engineer or as somebody who needs a strong base of mathematics so what raju will do raju will follow rd sharma because rd sharma has many variety of questions too many questions that if you follow all of them or if you wisely follow all of them knowing that which can be important which is not that important then you will be able to reach the ultimate goal of class 10 boards definitely okay and you will be able to pursue your career in mathematics in class 11th and 12th and future as well <laughs> Farhan is R S Agrawal and Raju is R D Sharma. Then what is Ranchor Das, Shamil Das, Chachar? So our Rancho, that is none other than our Amir Khan of this movie, is nothing but Pearson's publication. Okay. So if your ultimate goal is to crack IIT exam or go into a good reputed engineering college then you have to try out the pearson's iit foundation books all right so now if you are thinking that if you want to learn you want to basically start learning for start preparing for iit from the 10th standard itself 
then be like rancho be ahead from others and have that ultimate goal starting now itself and start doing pearson publication books so that you can also be that scientist that you have imagined right now wait wait farhan ki baat to ho gayi raju ki bhi ho gayi rancho bhi ho gayi but how can we have forget the main actress or the heroine of this movie pia now who is pia in our story basically so you have seen the movie and you know that pia was actually friend of farhan raju and rancho all three of them and she has helped them, farhan as well as raju as well as rancho in some or the other way now who is pia in our story in our story pia is basically the sample papers or the ncert exemplar books now these are the books who are going to help all the students whether they are following rd sharma or rs agrawal or pearson's or ncert doing sample paper is the ultimate thing that you all need and will need to crack your class 10th board exams in very 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 good way and to get a 90% or 95% above marks in your board exams right so don't forget to make pia your friend and solve as many sample papers as you can and previous year question papers to know to have an idea of what all type of questions can come right free advice hai. lena hai to lo na to jaane to but wait are these all sufficient to crack class 10th board exams mm -mm. there is one more thing that you all need what is that well before your class 10th board exams don't forget to say hot kuma city baja city baja ke bol bhaiya all is well oh babu all is well <laughs> okay guys so i hope that you enjoyed today's lecture and i hope that uh, all of these informations was useful to you now if uh, you are feeling that you are not going to be able to cover all the rd sharma questions all the rs agrawal questions or the pearson's publication question or if you feel that you can solve these books but you need somebody to guide you because rd sharma or rs agrawal or pearson publication books are having so many questions so many question that you can get drowned up in them okay so if you don't want to get drowned up and you want to understand that which type of questions we should follow and can be sufficient for us then the best strategy will be to enroll vedantos pro courses so in vedantos pro courses you get sample paper book you get tatva book where you will be having lots of practice questions you will get assignments time to time in between your classes after every chapters so that you can practice subjective type questions and those subjective type questions are even evaluated by the vedantu teachers to help you understand and how why are you doing wrong where you are doing wrong apart from this vedantu conducts test series every 14 days of your class enrollment so in between every 14 days you will have class test and all india mock test by which you can evaluate your performance and you can know that how you are performing and how your performance is increasing or not increasing while you class 10 board exam preparation okay so try out vedantu's pro classes they are right right now available in three formats pro light pro classic and pro premium choose according to your wish and benefits that you need and enroll it today itself with ske pro coupon code to get a 10 percentage ka discount all right guys so i hope that this session was useful to you and you will be able to uh kill your class 10 board exam this year and yes of course i am there on vedant the 9th and 10th english channel to help you all see ya oh yes don't forget to comment and let me know did you guys enjoy this video or not bye guys